Hey there, Bricksters, and what do we have here? We have the Lego Star Wars set number 57137 Carbon Freezing Chamber. 231 pieces, ages 7 to 12. Well, guess what? I'm not 7 and I'm not 12. I'm much older than that and I still love Star Wars. And yes, I will continue to collect Star Wars and build Star Wars. I bought this on May the 4th because I had to uh, basically make up the amount to get the free R2-D2 as like I had said before. Uh, I was very skeptical on this particular uh, set and build um, strictly because um, I don't think it's a finished product. It's kind of just half done. Um, in my opinion, it doesn't look good at all, but um, I love the Boba Fett character in it the new Han, uh, also the new carbon uh, print on the front of the carbon casing. Um, this little fella here, forget what his name is, an Ugnaught maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's an Ugnaught. This little Ugnaught here. There's a lot of orange to simulate flame and heat and all that kind of thing. Um, I guess it leaves it up to your imagination what this little elevator is for, if that's where Han goes down into the carbon freeze type of thing. Um, I would think maybe, and um, he comes up, you know, in here as the um, thing cools down around. But it's kind of a unique build in the sense that it, um, it uses this, like, um, back and forth push mechanism with a um, um, transmission um, transmission axle turner uh, device type of thing that's in the bottom there um, so you can turn your axles like at pretty much 90 degrees so that's pretty pretty cool like that um, and you can get them down pretty much flat so he's hidden out of the way um, of the background there and of course he can come up he's in live mode there or you can turn him over so that he's in carbon freezing mode there um, so you know that's about the most playability this set has is the elevator and turning Han around and upside down uh, the steps flip up for no reason um, can't really do anything with them or if they fold up a little more you could have a more neat compact storage of the set uh, but they don't so there's just the way that they're hinged on there so uh, I can see why it was hinged on there um, but that's okay and then also um, where it's sort of a half circle type of thing like there um, why that one comes forward and uh, none of the other ones do that beats me. There must be a reason for that as well. Um, yeah, so it, it, I mean, it has the printed uh, printed tile, which is kind of unique, and the uh, the three minifigures and the uh, carbonate block, which I suppose they consider a minifigure, but uh, I don't consider that a minifigure. I call that I consider that a piece. Other than that. Um, I don't know what this particular piece is for here. None whatsoever. Someone might have a clue somewhere. I'll watch another review somewhere and see what that's for. I honestly don't know. Um, all it shows is instructions. It's a flip up piece. Well, that's fine and dandy, but that doesn't tell me anything, you know? So what is it used for? Pfft, beats me. Um, for a price tag Canadian of $29.99, I do not think it's worth it. Um, I got it on sale for $24.99. It probably should be a $24.99 set to start with. And if it goes on sale, maybe for you know $19.99 or $20, bucks, okay, it's worth it. Um, but to pay the full $30 for this set, I wouldn't. Uh, you'd almost need two of these to complete it to make it look correct, which is like a full circle. Um, you know, so obviously I think you're paying for one, the Disney name and license, and the uh, the minifigures themselves because uh, I think he might be, this might be the only set this fellow's in. Uh, the new Carbonite and the new Han, um, likewise it might be as well. And uh, this particular Boba Fett, uh, which is really printed nice, only comes in this set. So 
Um, you know, that's a real sweet, uh, sweet, 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 sweet printing of Boba Fett. I love that. Um, but still, all in all, price tag is a little high for what it is. But it is Star Wars and it is Disney, so expect to pay high prices. Anyway, that's about it for this sort of mini review of set 75137, Carbon Freezing Chamber from LEGO Star Wars. We will talk to you again in another video. Until next time, I'm Freddy from Two Loose Bricks. And remember, if you can dream it, you can build it. I would really appreciate it if you would like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel so I can bring you many more great reviews, mocks, hauls, builds, tutorials, and other wonderful videos.